hi friends welcome back to laravel admin dashboard tutorial so we are using the voyager admin panel so here is the voice of the website so we have already discussed about the installation process and the configuration process now i'm going to show you what is routing here so how we can manage routing so now if you just click here so we can see there is all are appearing after the admin so this is the simple index page or you can see the dashboard so simply this is admin and if you click on roles you can see the admin roles and user then admin user so how it's managing so if you just look into the routing file so this is the web.php so after installation of voice alarm and admin package actually we are getting these things into our web.php and this is the responsible for all the routing so before that we can see we are created the group routing and we are set the prefix as admin suppose if you want to change this admin to backend so just write here backend and let's enter this the page is not found as usual it should be but if you change this here also we just add the prefix here and let's refresh the page so we can see all are back and if you just click on this all are changed and if you just click on this all are changed right so all are appearing as per our prefix so that was the simple things so what is inside the voice routes so let's see all the routes so if you check into the web.php we have simply one routes that is the slash that is the main page or uh, we are getting after installation of laravel so if you just check here so just go here and you can see this link and the next thing is all the voice routes so what is inside this so now if you just go terminal and create another and let's see all the routes so write php artisan route list okay so let's enter this so all the routes are created right so all are coming from the voyager so if you can see there are lots of routes so simply just check so this is the backend as we have changed this is backend so all are coming from the backend so all are dynamic and it was created awesome and you will love this and i will suggest to use this as a beginner or you can use this as a professional also and as it is the mts license so this is the backend and voyager assets is the backend users id re restore or edit okay so all the things we are getting so this is the dynamic part and we are getting the users for restore for edit simply update okay all the things we are getting okay so this was the basic parts and it's managing through the database so we don't need to think about these things because boss are responsible all the routes so what we need to think so we need to think about how to create a new pages suppose if you check here we can see there is a tools and inside the tools there is a database so as we are seeing all the pages all the pages are coming through this suppose if i want to change the link of this page so just open this page into the new tab so it's opening right and if you want to change the page link suppose i want to change the page will be appear as custom pages so how can you do this simply just edit the braid and let's go to the url slack suppose i want to change the name is custom hyphen pages okay so let's go down and let's submit okay so the pages is updated now if you just click on these pages so it's not going to anywhere as it appearing as it has so that means the page link is not creating and if you just refresh this the page is showing the 404 not found because we have changed the page link but we have not changed the menu so actually all things are appearing inside here so this is basically the admin menu so simply just go into the menu builder section and let's change the page link so let's go inside the builder so as it is the admin menu so we need to see the menu builder from admin and you can see this is has that means there is no link so simply just edit this and route for the menu item and simply write 
what we need so we need custom hyphen pages right so it's added and we have some another options to use the rgb color or open in new tab so if you just click on the same tab it will open in that pages or that window and if you want to open in the new tab or window you can use this and there is also the link type is dynamic route or static url so you can change as for your recommend so for now this is the dynamic routing and just click on the save and if you just refresh this still this page will not appear because this page is not exist now but the change is if you just go inside the page and click on this we can see the custom pages opening so these links are added into your routes so in this way we can manage the routing into the browser package so it's all about the routing and please comment if you have any queries about this video and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video next day we're going to show you how to use the menu builder and how to create a menu for our front end so please share this video to your friends and keep in touch Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.